and your referee, the third man in the ring, and your action gets underway, is a star referee, one of our very finest, Julie Bond from Berry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. To everyone here at the Sushi Community Stadium in Bolton. Are you ready to go? Two, two, two! It's time now to meet the boxers who begin in the blue corner in black shorts. Triple White, he weighed in at 9 stone, 13 pounds, 9 ounces. Rule 17 for professional contest, his record of 16 wins. Who just won the game? Two wins coming by way of knockout. He is Morgan Rangers' very own Regent Mall, Reese McMillan! And he is a part of the offering in the blue corner. Bring back short, two good blue and white. He too went in at 9 stone, 13 pounds, 9 ounces. Room 20, Rose Hall Contest, his record of 17 wins, just really needs 7 wins to win, by way of knockout. He the ball at WBC, title challenger, from Fuzzy Blanchard, Sugar King Gunner! So we jump in for the first fans of their five positions, going again, 10 million rounds to Lakers. Well, here we go, Lee. The main event of the evening Kane Gardner versus Reese McMillan. Ten times three minute rounds in the super lightweight division for the central area title. Some good noise has just come here. Both of these fighters are well supported. Yeah, looking forward to this one. The main bar of the evening. Reese McMillan has clearly sold some tickets and I think every single one of the ones he sold has stood right behind us. Gardner looking relaxed as he just pops that jab out. McMillan changing his height. And he's doing more work to start with in this opening round of this 10-round contest. Yeah, good start by McMillan. Working from head to body. Nice backhand through the middle there. That one got through. And snap the head back of Kane Gardner. Reese McMillan trains out of the Morecambe gym. Yeah, with Bob Aworth up there from Lancaster Boys. Matt Millen's been off the blocks in this first round. So oh, a left hook from Reese McMillan which caught Kane Gardner and he, his legs went wobbly for a moment and he finds himself in a bit of a troubled situation as he just tucks up on the ropes and McMillan knows that he did something to him but Gardner composed and back to boxing on the front foot as he pops that jab out. Reese McMillan has clearly got some weight behind those hands and you can see even when he lands the shots on the gloves that goes with a fud and you can see Gardner rattle. Nice hook there from McMillan. Great start by McMillan. Gardner second roll in the gloves though. Great body punch in there from Reese McMillan. So we go into the last 20 seconds of this round.
Well, for me, Lee, that was a Reese McMillan round. Are you in agreement or yeah, not? Certainly, certainly the first round to Matt Millen. But I tell you what, Kane Gardner is. He is covering up well. He is soaking up the shots. And you just wonder if that is a bit of a game plan, a bit of the action to soak him up for a, for a few rounds and then start turning the heat on, expecting McMillan to maybe start running out of steam. Yeah, if you, you know, look at the record, Matt Millen, 16 wins and he had two stoppages. The Gardner's had 17 wins and seven stoppages. But Matt Millen did look the bigger punch in that round. Uh, you know, as you said, Darren, um, Kane Gardner, they put the, cut the hands up nice and high, elbows by the side. They did take a lot of punches on gloves, but he also got caught as well. Definitely first round to Matt Millen. Round two. Jimmy Larry. Jimmy Larry. Jimmy Larry. Jimmy Larry. Well, here we go, round two. Nice high stance, tall stance, compact guard from Gardner. And Reese McMillan is definitely the aggressor in this fight. As we go into the opening minute of round two. Just expecting Gardner to start opening up in a minute. He hasn't shown us any of that yet, but it's not how he normally fights. Good right hook there by Reese McMillan, who is just marching forward, throwing shots to the, both the head and the body of Gardner. Gardner's just missing those jabs. I think Reese is just making himself a moving target at all times, and then when he gets the opportunity and gets Gardner on the ropes, then he uses it, he capitalises on it and lets his hands go. Both body and head. It's been some good work from McMillan so far. Good body shots there under the elbows by McMillan. Gardner answers him back now. He is starting to answer back his Gardner. Employing a nice high guard, elbows nice and tight. Gardner just ever so slowly, ever so slightly starting to rev the engine a little bit. Good work again then by Rhys McMillan. Good left hook to the body from McMillan. Gardner soaks it up and just moves round to his left-hand side and pops that jab out over and over again. Relentless pressure from McMillan, though. You've got to take your hat off to him. It's continuous, it's constant. By far the best fight of the night so far, yeah, isn't it? Certainly, crowd very volatile here tonight as well. Well, for me, that's another McMillan round. I agree with you. 20 to 18. But Gardner started coming out of his shell a little bit in that round. He, he's aware he's in a 10-round fight. That was only the second round. So I think we'll probably see him or start to see him putting it on a little bit, bit by bit, round by round. And if... McMillan's got that stamina and got that durability to be still be well to, to be doing what he was doing in the two previous rounds later on, then we're gonna have a very interesting fight on our hands. Ten seconds for this. Seconds out. Round three.
We've got uh, the one on the front foot as he stabs to the body of McMillan. More aggressive start by Gardner. Good body punching from McMillan. The Gardner just soaks him up, walks forward. And needs to be careful he doesn't walk into one of those straight right hands of McMillan's. Just like that one on cue. Good body shots there from McMillan again. The body work has been working well for him in the opening part of this 10 round fight. Blood coming from the nose. I was just about to say exactly the same thing. Nice triple jab followed by hook to the body from Matt Millen. Certainly livening up now, Darren. He is good body punching though from Reese McMillan, who throws a jab upstairs and then always follows up with something decent afterwards. And nine times out of ten, he's landing with it. Even if it's just on the gloves, he's continuously showing he's the aggressor. He's the one setting the pace. And some pace this is. A high tempo. Lovely shots again. Gardner working that jab over and over again. Trying to disrupt the rhythm, disrupt the flow of Reese McMillan. Great body punching once again from McMillan, and Gardner comes back ultra composed as he just lands a couple of headshots. Body shots there landed by King Gardner. Matt Millen playing for the crowd. He certainly is, and apologies if uh, any profanities are getting through on the ringside mics. As you can imagine, the emotions are high when watching someone you know. Better round with Gardner there, but it was a bit around, yeah. Have you scored that one, though, Darren? It was a lot closer, but I think I'd still give that to McMillan. I agree too. Gardner is, considering this is a, a ten-round fight, he's got some catching up to do now. But it doesn't matter what we say. It's the man scoring it. But a couple of the crowd just asking myself and Lee Whitehead how we got it and asking whether we thought it was 3-0 and the truth is we do at the moment. However, that last round was a lot closer. Good pressure once again from McMillan, but Gardner tucking up nicely. Good shots again from McMillan. And that was a good right hand from Gardner. I do get a sensation that Gardner could just flick a switch and really start putting some work together here. He looks a little too composed and a, maybe a, a, a lack of urgency at times Lee would you agree with that 
Yeah, but he's certainly he's certainly revved up for this round, Darren. Can't leave it too long. It's round four now. Obviously, we're not the uh, we don't score it. We're just compensating. We've got it. We've got it three rounds to Macmillan. Good pressure from Gardner, who comes forward, regardless of the attack coming his way. And Macmillan has found himself on the back foot more in this round than he had in the three previous rounds. Good shots there by Gardner. Good body work from Macmillan, something he's done for the majority of this fight so far, just hammering the left and right hand side of Kane Gardner, who pushes McMillan off and then just comes forward with that strong jab of his over and over again. But McMillan isn't there to be hit because he's moving his head continuously. A much better round for Kane Gardner. Great finish all about McMillan. McMillan sticks his tongue out and is thoroughly enjoying this fight. But for me, that's 3-1 now. Kane Gardner got that round for me. I don't know about you. Yeah, I got it the same. Close, but I got it the same. I tell you what, I can just sense that in this two-horse race, the Gardner is, towards the end, going to really pick up and go for it. Make it very interesting this now, Darren. You folks at home watching. Seconds out. Round five. Uh, round five, here we go. Gardner straight on that front foot. McMillan back with an array of punches. The Gardner certainly looking like the aggressor now and not looking like he did in the first couple of rounds. He is the fighter on the front foot. He is the fighter walking forward. Good shot there. Right hand from Rhys McMillan as he responds to the noise of the crowd, of those who have come to see him here in Bolton this evening. Good shot again there, landed on the chin. Picking his shots nicely is Gardner, but McMillan still very much enjoying himself in there. Boxing on the back foot a lot more now, popping that jab out, but a couple of decent jabs got through there from Gardner. As he ever so slightly puts his foot on the gas, bit by bit as the rounds go by. Sorry about the language out there, folks. Well, Gardner is putting the pressure on, but McMillan is still constantly fighting back, making it an even contest in this round for sure.
Good work here from McMillan. Gardner was coming back into it and every time he does, McMillan answers. As he snaps the head back of Gardner once again with a right hand. Just like the tide's turning. McMillan's back in it. Yeah, just as you think that Gardner's getting back on top and he's starting to win the round. McMillan puts the work in. But I tell you what, Lee, that was a close round and a hard round to score. Don't ask me who won it, because I don't know. I'm going to go even that one, 10 each. Really interested to see how this one pans out. What a crowd have been waiting for. The fans have been looking for this one. This is the fight of the night. Ten seconds for us. Seconds out. Round six. What a sixth round for this one, scheduled for ten. The crowd well and truly behind Reese McMillan here in Bolton. Who is really going for it. Gardner coming back once again. Intriguing battle here in Bolton. McMillan getting caught with that jab of Gardner's a fair bit in this round it's got to be said and a straight right hand a short right hand from Gardner got through there and he just sensed that him landing those shots has given him the confidence Good fight, Darren. Good fight. Great fight. All action. 50-50 a lot of the time now. The relentlessness of Reese McMillan is something to tip your hat to because he has not stopped throwing punches. Good shots landing by Gardner right on the chin. We're going into the last 20 seconds now of this bout. And that was a lovely left hook to the body from Kane Gardner, who just dipped down on his left leg and just wound that left hook in under the right elbow of Reese McMillan. Solid round, that Lee. I just got that one. Again, real, real tough one. I'd probably go Gardner on that one.
Well, here we go. Let's hope we have as much action in this round as we did in the previous. Four rounds to go, Darren. Got Matt Millen a point in front. Well, a, definitely a slower start to this round than the previous round. I'm not surprised, not surprised, they've both exerted a lot of energy in the six rounds we've had in this fight so far. Every time McMillan lands a shot, he sticks his tongue out. And he is having a whale of a time in there. Good work there from McMillan and Gardner answers him again. Gardner landing, landing more often now, Darren. He's picking his shots and he's accurate with his work. Is Gardner. And McMillan finds himself on the back foot and has those occasional pockets where he just moves forward. Couple of decent right hands got through, heavy right hands got through from Gardner. But McMillan just looks at him and smiles. Nice right uppercut there from Gardner. And the work rate is coming from McMillan, but he's just not as efficient now. And Gardner got through with a, a couple of really good straight hands there. And he know he did, and then he threw another right hand, which landed. But McMillan looks at him and shrugs his shoulders to say, is that all you've got? Big fudding hooks to the body from Gardner. I've given that round to Gardner. Yeah, I've got it even now, Darren. 67-67. Yet another close fight. Obviously, we're not scoring it, Darren, but the tides have turned a little bit. We spoke about this at the start of the fight. McMillan came out fast. He maintained that fast pace. And we said, if he can continue doing that, then it'll be a very interesting fight as we go towards the end. And as we go into the eighth round, it seems that Kane Gardner has maintained or managed his energy levels possibly perfectly but we'll see how he does in the last three rounds interesting this now Darren to see how it good start by Gardner I know McMillan is enjoying himself and he's responding to the crowd and he's done really well but there was a couple of moments in that previous round where he got caught and started sticking his tongue out and so on. And I completely get the, the buzz which is going through him, but he just needs to make sure he maintains that concentration and doesn't get caught with anything silly because he's done so well. And they were some good shots from 
McMillan. Lovely right hand over the top in response from Gardner. Put that big hand up a cut. Lovely up a cut again. Good work from McMillan, but Gardner tries to just soak it up and respond. Good pressure from McMillan once again, but Gardner responds yet again. What a fight this has turned out to be. And the right eye of McMillan looks like it's just starting to close up. Great work by McMillan. Continuous pressure. The Gardner doing well to just try and shove him off and throw his own shots back. Up a cut inside there by Gardner for Barrio. Good, good return by McMillan. With 20 seconds left in this eighth round. The most sustained pressure for me, Darren, has been by Gardner again in this round. Tell you what, that was a, another close round, tough round. Both guys did some good work. And I get the feeling, having a look into that blue corner, that McMillan is feeling a pace a bit now. He's done some serious work this evening. Some serious work. And he has made it a very entertaining fight. I wondered how this fight would look at this point with Kane Gardner being relatively reserved in the first couple of rounds but it's turned into a cracker Lee. Yeah, it's a barnstormer. Um, I think the tides have turned, changed a little bit. Gardner's come on strong the last few rounds. Would you agree, Darren? He has. He's, he's really livened up. He might not be... Ha he might not be matching the work rate of McMillan but he's just ever so slightly more successful in the exchanges for me. Good jabs there from Gardner. Putting his shots together nicely. And Gardner just getting busier and busier with that jab of his. And naturally, the body and head movement of McMillan is just slowing ever so slightly because of the energy and the sharpness fading. Best round from Matt Millen for a bit. The work of McMillan is sensational. Good uppercut though in response from Gardner and then throws a decent left hook to the body. Followed by another straight right hand but McMillan bounces straight back into action. 
And McMillan had his head snapped back there, but still comes back with a flurry of punches. Good work from Gardner as he just pressurises McMillan into the corner just above our commentary position. Nice body shot there from Gardner. And McMillan needs to respond here. And that he does. Every time it's been asked of him, he's there and he's really going for it now. And he senses that he might well be able to get this done before the sound of the final bell. But it's not to be. Well, I tell you, Ollie, every time you think one of these guys is just starting to slip away or fade away or slow down or not respond, they do. Every single time. But one more round to go. And it really could all come down to this last round. I've got it, I've got it two, have you got it even? I've got it two, I've got it two to Gardner. 87, two up 85. to Gardner. I'm but, not. But he's, I'll, be, I'll be looking at it, Gardner. Very close that last round. Very close indeed. Ten seconds, Morris. But this is it. Gardner really has come back into this fight. And the two touch gloves in the middle of the ring as we go into the tenth and final round. Three minutes. No idea how it's officially being scored. I bet it's close. And I bet both guys know that. And Gardner coming out aggressive full of aggression slamming those lead hooks into the body but once again McMillan comes back with shots of his own but Gardner responds yeah great response here what a great last round great start first 30 seconds but all action Darren fantastic from both fighters Gardner putting every ounce of his being into every single one of those shots and once again, you think McMillan's just starting to slow and he comes back with four, five, six straight shots. The pace which these two have fought at over the last five rounds has been incredible. Gardner just walking towards McMillan over and over again. That was a good shot upstairs from Gardner. Two of them landed successfully. And McMillan, who again just stood still for a few moments with his head down, comes back once again. With his chin tucked into his chest, throwing bombs. We're into the last minute, round 10. Good body work there from McMillan, who just bites down on his gum shield once again. But Gardner soaks it up and then comes back with shots of his own. Right hand after right hand. Uppercut, followed by a straight right hand. And both guys doing tremendous work. This really has been a fantastic contest. Gardner 
sticks his right foot into the canvas and loads up with the right hand and McMillan as we go into the last 10 seconds of a central area classic both fighters touch gloves before the bell even goes and what a fight we have just witnessed that was fantastic action and was well worth the wait a brilliant brilliant contest yeah great fight Darren to, 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 to top the night off Kane Garland from Bezik, Reese McMillan from Morecambe. Great fight for Central Area title. How have you scored it? I, I stopped officially writing my score down a little while ago, but my gut feeling says that Kane Gardner will get the nod. But I think I think it'll be close. What about you? I've got Gardner by one round. Well, we will find out officially in just a moment. Well, let's get the official score, which we're all waiting for, from Phil Seymour. Seymour had said that it was close he couldn't believe that either but the fact that it's gone to Reese McMillan he's shaking his head in disappointment of course but Reese McMillan is being lifted onto the leg onto the shoulders sorry of his team and he did do some fantastic work in that it was a fight of two halves but congratulations to Reese McMillan he is the super lightweight central area champion yeah I had a, I had a round to guard though but you know sometimes things look, look different to the referee obviously for all boxing Info, news and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP Boxing Promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.